XLR cables, audio interfaces, cloud lifters, confusing software. Sometimes getting good audio for your stream can be pretty confusing. I try to break it down and make it easy for you, but there's a lot to keep track of and learn to use certain popular gear. That's what makes today's microphone pretty neat, if you're into that. NZXT made a mic for gamers and streamers that's sleek and simple with virtually no knowledge needed. Plug it in and go without sacrificing too much at all. When many other companies release Blue Yeti clones or pair it with messy software, NZXT just wants to give you good audio, but does it hold up? I'm Eples Vox, the stream professor, and I've reviewed countless microphones and audio products on this channel with one goal. Does it help you make better content? That's it. We have some upcoming videos regarding awesome mixers and capture cards coming in the next couple weeks, so hit the subscribe and notification button so you can stay informed. This is the NZXT Capsule, a $130 USB condenser microphone that isn't going to blow anyone away, but also won't get in your way either. This is a simple and minimal mic. No RGB, no complicated setup, just good audio. Specs wise, we're looking at a 25mm cardioid condenser capsule, 24 bit 96 kilohertz audio, a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz frequency response, real time monitoring via the headphone jack, USB C connectivity, and a super lightweight design. Without the stand, this thing weighs less than a pound. This is fantastic for staying out of your way and letting you get away with the cheapo Amazon mic arm if you wish, though keep in mind the Rode PSA1 specifically will have trouble with such a lightweight microphone. I think this mic poses a perfect option for super casual streamers and people who just want better audio for Discord or other voice calling, in-game chat, etc. This might sound like a silly use case to some, but I have people reach out all the time who just want a basic audio upgrade from headset mics and to be more tolerable for in-game comms. This is probably it. There are obviously many options, but this one is pretty straightforward and has the least amount of learning curve of pretty much all of the options while still looking super minimal with white or black options. Using this mic is easy peasy. Plug it into your computer, plug in your headphones into the headphone jack, set Windows or Mac OS to use the audio for your headphone output device, and set your voice calling app to use the microphone as well. And in fact, switching these devices may not even be required as a step since this is usually done automatically when you plug in a new audio device anyway. You have two dials on the front, a headphone volume knob and a gain dial for the mic. It's set to 50% by default, but you can tweak it to your liking. Press the knob in to mute and unmute your mic. That's it. Before we get any further, I did want to note that most of this review was recorded with the microphone on its microphone stand that they include, kind of how they intend to use it, at least on the bass level, and propped up so that it's a little closer to my mouth. However, as my previous guide linked below on getting the best quality out of your microphone explained, you will get better results by bringing it closer to your mouth and reducing the gain as I have here. It is like an inch away from my mouth at this point, just angled to avoid plosives. This will produce a little bit better sound, reduce that kind of boxy sound that you're hearing of reflections off of my microphone, but does require you to invest in a microphone arm and get it close and in your face and things like that, which I would think that Potential buyers of this for specifically game usage and the like may not want to do just because that impedes on their setup a little bit more. Uh, but if you're after the best quality for streaming and the like, this probably sounds a little bit better than most of the audio through the video. But I wanted to provide both the use cases because most people are going to buy this thing and set it on their desk to start. So that's where most of the video is framed as well as the comparisons later in the video. For quality, you've been hearing this microphone the whole time, but let's compare to a couple similarly priced USB microphones. Three rings for the Oven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Three rings for the Oven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Three rings for the Oven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Now we'll test for background noise rejection, talking while typing, talking while typing on box royal switches, clicking, talking while clipping, talking while typing, tip tap, talk, talk, clip, clap. Talking while typing, talking while typing on box royale switches, talking while clicking, talking while typing, tippity tap, top, top. Talking while typing, talking while typing on box royale switches, talking while typing, talking while clicking, talking while clicking, typing, tippity tap. Now here's the white noise test in front of the microphone. 
going around the microphone, behind the microphone, below the microphone, above the microphone. And back in front of the microphone. Now here's the white noise test in front of the microphone, going around the microphone, above the microphone, below the microphone, beside the microphone, and back in front. And now we have the white noise test in front of the microphone, going around the microphone, behind the microphone, above the microphone, below the microphone, and back in front. Here's how the NZXT capsule could sound with some EQ and compression if you wanted to use it with streaming with the settings I used shown on screen. Three rings for the Oven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. NZXT is also releasing a $99 boom arm that looks like a clone of the Blue Compass. I don't have this on hand, but it looks fine if that's the kind of microphone you want. I have a whole microphone arms buyer's guide linked below if you want to see how this one might compare up against the competition, at least on paper, based on what we're given. In terms of value, this microphone is pretty solid. It competes well with most other USB mics in this price range and cheaper, especially if you're focused on the clean, minimal approach. The only reason I'd suggest looking elsewhere is if you do want this mic for streaming and not just gaming. If you don't mind dealing and messing with software, the Wavelink software provided with the Elgato Wave, the Wave 1 or the Wave 3, is too good to be ignored especially when the Wave 3 can be had for the same price as the NZXT capsule or cheaper, and the Wave 1 even cheaper than that. That Wave Link software allows you multiple audio track separation for game sound, Discord, music, etc. If that doesn't interest you, the NZXT capsule seems like a solid option. Overall, this mic is just barely out of range for receiving my Stream Professor Approved badge. I think if they could get it down to $99 or $100 even, it would earn it, but right now, you, users can just too easily get similar options and potentially with more features. Uh, you know, that is the stream professor approved badge, not the gaming professor approved badge. But for people just gaming or just doing voice or video calls, the simplicity here is perfect. Getting reviews up on launch day for products is a lot of work, and sometimes we miss deadlines. As we're all chasing views for the same kind of review sometimes, you may see reviews of this microphone launched with some pretty clickbaity titles. To get away from that, my creator friends and I have built our own streaming platform. My videos are higher quality there, ad-free, and often extended from the YouTube versions. This video, for example, has three additional mics included in the microphone comparison testing that had to be cut out of this video for comparison's sake. The site is called Nebula, and we've partnered with Curiosity Stream. Nebula features YouTube's top education creators such as Thomas Frank, Losvec Gamer, and MKBHD. Curiosity Stream saw what we were doing for educational content and wanted to form an educational superpower alliance. If you sign up with the link below, you get access to Curiosity Stream's library of thousands of educational and documentary content, but you also get access to Nebula's entire lineup for free for the entire duration of your subscription to Curiosity Stream. Better yet, they're running a 26% off promotion, making their annual plan less than $15 per year for both sites. One subscription. Seriously. Head to curiositystream.com slash epos for the best deal in streaming and don't miss out. Product links once available will be in the description below as always. Down there is a link to my microphone reviews playlist where you can check out full reviews of every microphone mentioned here and more. Get subscribed and remember, be kind, rewind.